Hello there, this video will go over how to install XPad in a Linux desktop on a Chromebook. XPad is a notepad utility. If you are interested in Linux on a Chromebook, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on a Chromebook without running. To install XPad, we are going to use Synaptic, which we can get to by going to the menu and in the preferences category, we will open up Synaptic Package Manager. From here, we will click on the Reload button to get to the most up-to-date list of all the available software. When Synaptic is finished reloading, we can then click on the Search button and search by name for XPad. When the search is finished and XPad comes up, we can then right-click on XPad, select Mark for Installation, and then to download XPad, we can click on the Apply button and then click on Apply again to confirm the download. From there, we just wait for the download to finish. When XPad is finished installing, we can then click on the Close button to close out of the Changes Applied window, and then we can close out of Synaptic. Now we can open up XPad by going to the Menu, and in the Accessories category, we will click on XPad. We'll notice that XPad opens up outside the desktop if we look at the bottom shelf of our Chromebook. We'll fix this after configuring XPad. When XPad is opened for the first time, we are brought to the Welcome screen, which is also the XPad Help. From here, we can scroll down to the bottom and click on the Close button. After that, we'll need to open up XPad one more time from the menu in the Linux desktop like we did before. To configure XPad, we need to get to XPad settings, which we can get to by right-clicking inside the notepad that came up and select Preferences. Remember, a right-click on a Chromebook is a two-finger click on the mouse pad. Now, the XPad configurations that I'm about to cover are what I recommend starting with because some settings can be disruptive. Under the first tab, which is the View tab, we will only check Show Scroll Bar, Show Window Decorations, and Hide All Notes from the Task Bar and possibly the Task Switcher. Anything else that has been previously checked, we will uncheck. If a notepad pops up while editing preferences, don't worry about it. You can move it out of the way if needed and keep on editing preferences. For the Layout tab, we will want to select Use This Font and Use These Colors. For now, we will hold off on adjusting the fonts and colors until after we fix XPad. For the Startup tab, we will have Nothing checked, and then for the Tray tab, we will only have Enable Tray Icon checked, and then make sure the pull-down labeled Tray Left Mouse Click Behavior is set to Toggle Show All. Lastly, for the Other tab, we will only have Confirm Pad Deletion checked. After that, we can click on the Close button to close out of Preferences. We are now going to edit the launch command for XPad so that it will run inside the desktop. To do that, we need to go to the menu, and in the Accessories section, we are going to right-click on XPad, select Properties, and go to the Desktop Entry tab. Here we are going to prefix the already existing command with env, space in all capital letters, gdk underscore backend is equal to lowercase x11 space. After we're done putting that in, we can click on the OK button. Lastly, now that we've finished configuring XPad, we'll want to shut everything down and then start everything back up. So first, we'll want to right-click on XPad in the bottom shelf of our Chromebook, select Close, and then shut down Linux. And once that's finished shutting down, we can close out of the Terminal app and then shut down the Chromebook. From there, we can restart the Chromebook, start up the terminal app, wait for that to finish starting up, and then we can start up the desktop like usual. At last, we can finally use XPad by going to the menu and in the accessories category, we will open up XPad where it will come up in the right side of the taskbar. If we click on XPad and a bunch of notepads show up that we accidentally created, that's okay because we can right click in any of the notepads and select delete. Since XPad is fixed, we can go back to editing the font and colors by right clicking on XPad, select preferences and go to the layout tab. 
If XPad closes after editing the font or colors, that's okay because we can just reopen XPad from the menu and then go back to XPad preferences like normal and keep on editing the font and colors. To create a new notepad, we just right click on XPad and select new. We can configure the look of an individual notepad by right clicking inside of a notepad, go to edit and then select layout. This is where we can edit the font and colors of an individual notepad. And as you can see from the fun little example I made, there's plenty of combinations that we can do. To close an individual notepad, we can either click on the close button in the top right corner of a notepad, or we can right click inside of a notepad and select close. We can also close all of our notepads by right clicking on XPad in the taskbar and selecting close all. To open up all of our notepads, we just simply click on XPad from the taskbar. If we want to open up an individual notepad, we can do so by right clicking on XPad in the taskbar and selecting the desired notepad that we would like to open. The method for opening up an individual notepad can be used to bring a notepad on top of another window. We can also make it so that a notepad stays on top of all the other windows so that if we interact with another window, the notepad won't disappear. To do this, we just right click on the window border of the notepad, go to layer, and then select always on top. Now, if we click on or interact with another window, the notepad will stay on top. To make the notepad go back to normal, we just right click on the window border of the notepad again, go to layer, and then select normal. To delete a notepad, we just right click inside of a notepad and select delete. In order to close XPad and get it off of the taskbar, we just right click on XPad in the taskbar and select quit. For documentation on XPad, we can right click on XPad when it is open in the taskbar and select help. We can also get more XPad documentation from a terminal if we do XPad space dash dash help or if we do man space XPad for a longer help. If you're looking for more reusable ways to take notes, there's boogie boards, which are reusable notepads, and there's rocket books, which are reusable notebooks. The cool thing about these two is that you can take pictures of your notes so you can still save them digitally. There's also Violeti Flashcards, which is an Android app for digital flashcards. And then there's also TiddlyWiki, which is a digital notebook that works cross-platform. There's also a method of using sticky notes called Kanban, which has been used as a common practice for tracking the progress of a project. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, the Chromebook Guide to Google Linux. And other than that, see you soon!